Hey everybody, my name is Izal, is is it though? And welcome back to Dark Souls 3. It's not going well. Can I say his own name? Can no. I say his own name? Yeah, good start. I'm I'm still What are you? <laughs> I'm I'm still a mess from uh those that that fight against Crystal Mage. Which I still have yet to finish. This time though, I've searched my storage box, whatever it is, stash. I've got a better shield stash, yeah. stash. And I've got a load of cleric armor, which is higher magic resistance, so I'm gonna just try rocking that instead. He's gonna fail. Have you tried but getting good? Get good. He, he can't. Yeah. He's ill-equipped for that. That's not how it works, you should know that. Biologically incompatible with being good. Is there any point in me rocking my shield, really? No. You're fucking useless. <laughs> go double, go double-handed and yeah, I think destroy I it. Yeah, you're double handed is quite a good idea. Yeah, actually. You saw that we shield suppressed, um. I. Man, I want to have some cereal as well. Fuck's sake, Lee. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Fuck's sake. I'm telling you, man, we brand this shit. Which cereal are you having? Um, I'm having a mix of blueberry wheat and fruit and fibre. Nice. What the fuck listen, what? listen to this. Listen, listen. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna mute myself now. I'm just gonna keep eating on stream. Really? What? Blueberry what? In the blueberry what? In the what? You know shredded wheat? Oh, okay. Can you get shredded the protein wheat? One. The protein. No, 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 fuck your protein. They're just shredded wheat. There's fucking shredded wheat, and then they stuff them with blueberry filling, and fuck then sex. I. Eat you know them. what? Yeah, I've got that confused with the uh, Weetabix. My mistake, sorry. Sorry. How the fuck did you get them confused with I don't know. They're all shit oh, anyway. That you was a good start. Serial amateur. Oh my god. Oh, oh gotta take a spoonful. Oh no. Mm -mm -mm. I've got these, like, uh, I'm stuck in the doorway. unicorn type ones that are like Fruit Loops, basically. Oh yeah. I'm trying to finish this. They sound like Lucky Gems or something. Yeah, sort of. I can't be doing like the crazy high sugar stuff. Oh. I um, I quite like fruit and fiber and special K, and uh, I like wheat bits too. Oh, I love cereal. The problem is I'm never hungry in the morning. Old man. That's that's the old man food. I know, but I'm, I'm a night owl. I'm not hungry in the morning, but then when it gets to near bedtime, my body's <laughs> like, ah, oh, I could redo with some breakfast now. I fucking feel you, mate. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm, I'm mm. a bit hungry. I'm like. Just let me eat on your behalf. I'm telling you, it's yeah, delicious. Yeah, I think. The best thing about this it. dream right now is this food I'm eating. And for you as viewers, let me tell you, this this food is far better than his Dark Souls what? playing. What? Why did you just fall through the floor? Why? Right. That'd be amazing if you glitched him and he died. See, this is the hard bit. Have you noticed at this stage, he always seems to get more of him? Oh. Just attack one, dude. They, they, uh, I'm trying, they I'm trying. Alright, go behind him. Heal. 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 <laughs> I sound like that guy in uh, Mike Myers' movie. Yeah. No, I uh, don't mean Shrek. Whenever he does a <laughs> Scottish accent. Right. Austin Powers? Yeah, that's it. I think it might be one. Um, how's that cleric armor working out for you? It's fucking attack, dude! I'm just... Fuck it, just give up, dude. Right, Our cereal's almost over oh, now, by the way. No, he's not alive. No, 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 he's not alive. No, okay. Oh. Real shame, that. Real shame. Mm. This one's this one's not going so good. I Last feel month, like if you can't finish it in this episode, you should just grind off stream for a bit. Yeah. Or just or just can we, give up. Can we all just take a minute to mourn my my cereal that's just finished? Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. What what's this blueberry shreddies? I might give this a go. It's not shreddies. It's not. It's oh my god. It's blueberry wheats. The most, <laughs> most supermarkets do them. Just a shredded wheat with filling in. 
I get mine from Tesco. Other supermarkets are available. There's apricot wheats, there's raisin wheats, there's cherry wheats. Yeah, I'm not, I'm really not into them. Sainsbury's, it's Sainsbury's, right? No, well, maybe Sainsbury's do them. I don't go to Sainsbury's. Oh, no. Waitrose does it. Of course they do. does it. As, oh, there you go, blueberry wheaties. Yeah, there you go. Blueberry wheaties. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty as tasty. This vision. Yeah, it just sounds so manly, doesn't it? You can even eat them dry as well. God, God, They're quite a good snack to just staff them. So, what, what, what else do you, you mix it then, basically? You put a bit well, of I, I just, I just have all manner of shit. But yeah, right now I've just had... I put on Mate, the bottom some of those Crave is enough. I love Crave. Oh, God. The, is that the, the, the hazelnut chocolate inner bits? Yeah, I like Yeah, yeah, them. the like hazelnut them. Crave. Oh. I haven't had them in years, but they are they're good. Oh, mate. Fuck it now. Kellogg's Ooh. do a quite good. Um... I think I might just got you as did he. Woo boy! <laughs> Kellogg's do like a quite good nut and um, nut and chocolate granola thing. That's quite good with some yogurt. Crunchy nut, yeah, yeah, they look really good as well. It's not the crunchy nut one. Oh, that no. one's okay, but there's a different one they do. It's like a granola y one. That, yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Nut. Crunchy nut granola. I, I, it's not the same. It's not the same. Oh, actually, maybe it is if it's crunchy nut granola. Yeah, well, I, I know what you're talking about, it's granola thing. and it's uh, like chocolate in there or they've got yeah, caramel yeah. and they've got some fruit one as well. Yeah, yeah I know, I, I eat that all the time. Yeah, that's good. That's good, man. You're a, you're a cereal connoisseur. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I'm impressed. Senpai approves. <laughs> Notice me. Notice me. What? Yeah, listen, just stare at a fucking wall. That's, that's, that's what we do now. Fucking hell! Yeah, when, you when you know what? Maybe this. Maybe I was just too fucking good. Or I farmed the shit out of it. There's no way I was struggling this bad, dude. Yeah, I remember it being quite tough. I don't know how it is real. There that you go. Much. See? Hit him a few times and they disappear. And heal. There we go. He's getting there, man. He, uh, yeah. he, oh, fucking hell! Holy shit! What about that lady in Anno Londo? He's gonna get fucking dumpstered. Which lady oh. I don't know what <sighs> I don't know what they... The, there's a specific name for it, right? Um, but it's the lady who's... Who looks like a slug and then no, she... No, that's, that's not a lady, that's Aldrich. Yeah, oh, I mentioned no, Aldrich. Aldrich. Yeah, 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 he's, he's the fucker. eater of gods. Yeah, he's a fucker, he's... Oh, I'm not safe. Oh, oh dead. Like a slug, oh, by a slug. No. Oh, no. Yeah, he's awful. Because you think, you think, oh, he's difficult, and then you hit the second phase, and <laughs> then all hope is fucking lost. It's like, There's ah, no way he's going to dodge all those fucking things. It's like a bullet hell shooter, isn't it? Yeah. Second phase, yeah. yeah. He's, he's just firing with his arrow, and there's shit on the floor fucking going off. There's, no, there's, no, that's not that. The arrow's not the problem. It's the other thing. It's like when it explodes, and it's like pff, bullet hell. Oh, the exploding thing isn't that bad. Do you mean like the homing missile things? So, is that yeah. what it is? Not the rain. I don't mean the rain. I think you're talking about the homing rain sort of soul missile thing. Well, he's got right? he's got like soul missiles that he fires out, and he's got his arrow, where the arrows start following you, and then he leaves a fire trail on the floor. I mean, he does kind of fizz up a bit and blow up, but I never found that difficult. Yeah, is it the wrath of God? I don't know. Yeah. It's been a long time. <clears throat> yeah, he was. Yes, he was. He was a piece of shit. He was. TP hated the um. You know the Dragon King, whatever his name is, the one who rides the dragon. Yeah, that's a fucking King. bullshit thingy as well. <laughs> I didn't find him too hard. I was okay with him. No, I was struggling on the second phase. I could do the first phase easy. Uh, hold on, is the first phase when he's on his floor? He's on the dragon, and then he gets. No, on the dragon. The, that that bit was okay. It's the bit where, yeah, it's when he's on the ground. Have you done the Ring City? Or do you say you haven't got that? No, no, I've not. The DLCs. The I last got, boss in that is game. pretty difficult. I keep meaning to try to get these DLCs, and I'm like, you know what? I can't be fucking lost. <laughs> well, I think I might do it good. for Sekiro. I'll wait until there's a game in the year edition and I'll just play that. I'm patient. If I didn't get it now, I probably won't get it until the game is the year edition. Right. Right, at least stands. Oh, great. Oh, he's learning. No, oh, okay, never mind. He's not learning. See, whenever I get behind cover, they use AoE. From the sky. It's almost as if there's 
So most of this they have AI, dude. Yeah. Oh, I've been learning about machine learning and stuff recently. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've kind of been like. Dot, the thing is, net. no, I use TensorFlow. JS. Uh, the thing that put me off originally was all Python stuff, and it's also math heavy, and I hate math. It's a means to an end. I don't really enjoy that bit. But there's been a few points where I've been like, oh, it'd be really good if I could write a like a music categorization thing, or even just like the way that in game dev it's getting to a point where you can just generate 3D models based off sketches and stuff. There's already white papers on this sort of thing. So I thought, well, they're probably going to automate my job away at some point, so I may as well get on that bandwagon. That seemed the perfect uh, thing to no, that, there, that might be a problem a while away. I, I'm not sure, well, some of, some um, jobs are definitely going to get what made it for machine learning the next 10 years or so. Like two what, next what kind of jobs? Well, 3D modeling, for example, some of that can be automated away. The texturing, that is almost ready to be automated away. Right? They've got it at the moment where you can get a picture of, you can get like a chair, and the example I saw was a chair, and then they just basically got some pictures of chairs off Google. Mate, hey, what are you doing? Not in the fucking it. bus fight. I was tempted to try and um, amber up. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. Oh. It's all really, you know when you when you get into, I don't know, you want to learn um, a web You're coming in very low, cool. mate. What's happened? Are you away from the, the mic? I'm um, right next to the mic. I always come in low for some reason. I don't know. No, I was, you, you were coming in really low. Um, yeah. Uh, but it's like when you, you start learning web languages or something, or, or apps, whatever. You can go, oh, well, I want to start off by making, like, let's say you get make a mobile thing, you want to get into mobile dev, you go, oh, I'll just make a, a simple to-do list or something, or, oh, I want to make a website, I'll just make a quick blog or something. There's always simple little things you can do, which make use of quite a lot of the techniques. With machine learning, the very basic is, like, oh, I'll just make a kind of a graph that can guess what where my number should be. Well, it doesn't guess it, it kind of... Well, partially guesses. But anyway, it, it, you, you're kind of doing a graph or something because the, the entry point, you're like, no, I want to I want to make it play Mario Kart or something like that. <laughs> that's the entry point, but that's so far down the line. It's untrue. Have you ever heard of... You don't really do much game dance stuff, do you, man? No, no, no. <clears throat> There's a really fun tool called... Um, one sec. Coughing up a lung. No, he's just... He decides to just... Can you hear him? He's rolling on the floor on his back, just kicking his legs everywhere. <laughs> he just decides randomly, oh, I'll just get a freak out, and just rolls about like a freak. Um, yeah, there's this tool for... Yeah, you understand what texturing is, right? The process of it. Yes. Yeah. Putting so a texture on a 3D model. It, well, yeah, but I mean more the, the creation Mapping. of the texture. So yeah, you get your UV map and you go, right, okay, I'm going to put the face and stuff on there. Or let's say you go make a plane. You'd unfold the wings and stuff and you'd put like, oh, well, a bit of metal there, a bit of, uh, I don't know, glass there for the cockpit. But basically somebody will make, make these this this image, right? But there's a tool called Substance, and there's, there's a few others out there as well which are like it. But you can basically make it procedurally generate textures from graphs. So you basically like it's a node editor. So you have like these nodes in for. Well, I'm gonna have some metal there, and then add some rust to it, and then you add a grunge map, and then you randomly place other bits on it. So you can kind of build up this procedural texture, and you can even have it so that at runtime it exposes variables. So you could adjust like the rust level oh. if the longer you've had it or something. Very workflowy, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of companies use it now. But going back like five. Fucking hell, Wilson! Jesus! Quit your bullshit! But going back like five years ago or something, it was only just starting to become popular. But now it's like. Oh, would he love me? Yeah. Love once, there you go. But I can see it being a case of. From here on, you'll start to get 3D modeling packages and texture packages. 
which have elements of AI to streamline some of the workflow. It's like you'll have AI to unwrap your models or you'll have AI to rig your, your metrics and stuff. And then it'll be a case of, well, the so AI is manual so good. stuff, yeah? Manual stuff that could be automated. Yeah, but that'll just be the start. Once that's automated and everybody's okay with that, then it'll be a case of, well, okay, why can't we just have it do more than that? And then eventually it'll just get to the point where it'll just make the model itself. You'll just go, here's some pictures, no, here's I don't some think concept it'll, art. I don't, I don't, no, I don't think it'll be that clever, dude. You? I think you need a bit of feel. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you're sure. You'll probably need somebody to polish it, but if you've got some content... Uh, oh, yeah, if you can say, like, work, it'll do, like, most of the basic structure and stuff, yeah. No, but most 3D modelers, they'll go, well, depending on if you're doing hard service versus organic, but they'll generally go, because you, you've normally got four viewports, perspective, top, left, down. Uh, I think you need to whatever. equip it, mate, in the future. Uh, in, the next, in the next go, you need to equip it. Yep. So it's you can then sure. just... So you can just uh, scroll in and use it. Yeah, I don't even care yeah. what he's doing anymore. I'm, I'm bored of his shit. Yeah, and clearly. Just, you're you're joking. Joking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Let's just talk about how poor he is at Dark Souls. So can like, you there's only see... so many times I can reiterate that topic. Oh, I'm already embered, aren't I? That's why I couldn't use it again. Right. Okay, let's get that. So could you imagine if like some budding game dev comes here and they're watching this and they're like, wow, these people are talking about real world game dev problems. I wish they'd talk more about that. <laughs> And you're the just like going, fuck, heal, heal, you've died, fuck. It's all good stuff, man. All yeah, good you stuff. Yeah, you know what? Look, you, you, were you watching what you was fucking doing? He was just standing by a pillar and he's like <laughs> almost dead. Well, I mean, like, care. what the fuck are you doing? I Why do I have to tell you to heal? Why do I have to? I only come here for the, the small bands. amount of amusements he offers. And at the moment, he's. He's not it's even dying in spectacular up. ways, he's just dying in mundane ways. I could die this way if I wanted to. <laughs> I don't need to watch a stream for it. Alright, if I haven't killed this by the end of this stream, I'm I'm done. Not doing it again. That's it, that's that's the attitude yep. we like. Yeah, yep. that's oh, it. Oh, I can't do it now. I'm just so gonna give well, up. I'll just give up. Yeah. Yeah. How and how did, why did you become a, a developer? Gitch, I don't yeah, well, this is this is way. the greatest illusion he has ever done to make people think he is a developer. <laughs> I swear, it's it's a uh, it's a piece of magic that pro yeah pro. Hey, ten years in. Yeah, well, I've seen worse. No yeah. fucking way. Yeah. Fuck you know. <laughs> Nobody's as surprised as he is. <laughs> so, I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> Wow. wow! And you're still as fucking useless as the day yeah. I met you. <laughs> uh. <laughs> the thing is, right? Do you remember how we used to joke about like him sort sorting arrays and stuff? Right, but they... rather, <laughs> he's just got to the point now where he's like, I'm just gonna give up on sorting arrays. Fuck that shit. <laughs> so mm -hmm. He hasn't advanced. He's just given up on enough stuff. That he he's found the stuff that he's partially competent at, and he'll. What's that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Um, I, I don't know. You, you have to ask him on that. I, I can't. You work in the same him. company, don't you? Um, well, yes, in a way. Oh. No, he's he's good. He's good at stuff. Oh. Wow. Good at what though? Dark uh, Souls. Good at good. Dark Souls. He's good at team sport. <sighs> You're not good at Dark Souls. I Don't am. put that on your resume. I'm pro. Oh, he's a fucking build engineer. Well, he's not. He does teams that he's stuff only because no one else wants to. Um, yeah. No, he it... did a bit of JavaScript. He he was doing some he was doing some acceptance testing the other day. What? I gave him a, a whole framework and a suite of tests. About nine of them were working. No, they no they him. weren't. He None came of back them. to me happy and went. I got three tests working. Right, I gave that, is, that is half, <laughs> half a story, that is. Let, let's rewind a minute. Okay. When I when I committed that code, was there nine working tests? When you committed the code two months ago, there was nine, there was working, nine working tests. tests. Since then, Since then, he's uh, enough has he's changed already. Uh, enough has changed in the application that none of those um, page object models are relevant anymore. I don't think that's entirely true. I no, think no, the they are relevant, the but, but stuff has changed. 
Yeah, the stuff has changed, so the tests don't work. The amazing bit was when he came over to me, right? So he just because I'm handing over to him and some other people of it. So and basically, I'll do some stuff generally, and then hand over to somebody else to knowledge share. And on this one, I, I was handing over to Tom. And he, he's off. He, I said, "Look, you just go through the code base. Come to me with any questions you got." And he comes over to me. He's looking a bit flustered. And he's like, "Right, I think I'm going to have to make a new repository for some of this." I'm like, "What are you on about?" He's like, "Oh, well, we've got a dependency on X. Like, we don't have a dependency on X. What are you on about?" He's like, "We do. We do. I'm going to have to split it out." So he's there, ready to make this whole repository and copy and paste a load of stuff into it. So I say, look, you, look, you have to show me because I think you're chatting bubbles here. So I go around to his desk, <laughs> he points out the code to me, and I say, yeah, but there, there is no dependency on X. It, it's, we, we just call APIs, it's already in the project. Oh, okay. But he was, he was ready to just start making repositories and, and bugging code and the place. Do you not, know, like, like, look at how things work, <clears throat> dude? Do you not understand how references and, like... <laughs> uh, do you not understand you... software development? Software? Right. Software? Who, who needs to do that as a developer? What? I, People I make that stuff. stuff. <laughs> HTML is my favourite programming language. How, how did you get... How do you pass the programming test? I didn't. Actually, I failed it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on! Yeah. Hold on! Oh, mate, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it oh. Was, well, yeah. I, I didn't Classic even. I didn't huge. even. I didn't even Do finish you, uh, it. Are you a good blower? Are you? Is that what it is? Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know what? You, you don't even. Uh, you don't even. You haven't even lived. Oh, it's it's uh, like his life's a stumble through. Fucking hell! That is amazing. This, this is where it gets real. Hold on, hold on. What? How did they hire you <laughs> when you failed the fucking test? What? How? They must have taken pity on. No, you. no, right. No. How? How did it happen? What? What did you say? What? <laughs> say? No, I didn't say. No, right. My verbal interview. How did you get was... a job, Gucci? How did you right. get a job? Right. My interview went so well that the score I got on the technical test didn't matter. <laughs> no, right. What it was was there's these program tests. Here. I can't remember what they use. They don't actually use it anymore after my feedback on it. But right, you've got this web-based IDE which says you modify one line, um, no, you need to make this unit test pass and you need to modify one line. So I was like, okay, I'll have a look. It was some, you know, as you can imagine, some mad recursion and maths and stuff, and it was all done really crazy. So I was like, all right, well, I'll refactor this so it makes a bit of sense, and then the problem will probably reveal itself. And I've basically just fought against this web-based IDE for half an hour, and then just went, you know what, this, this test is stupid. This is oh not my god, you know what he did, Mo? He, he went at it for a few minutes and then just gave up. No, nope, right. I've yeah, not seen that before. <laughs> well done, mate. Yeah. I think it's just having in the office space all up. the time. Uh, this is it. JFDI. You, you, you know at times where we'll be talking about a problem and we go, yeah, I've just got to get it Dude, done now. Dude, get a fucking job by just failing. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck kind of company you, do you work you, for? You've got to give him props though. Only Gooch could pull this Gooch, off. Where do you, where do you work? Uh, don't give me the company name, but what what area, what sector is it? What? It's, it's IT, obviously. It's no, IT. But... No, right, hang, hang on, hang on. It is wasn't that. Is it an e-commerce that... site? Is it a fucking uh, insurance? I'm not going to go into that. No. not going to discuss it. No, right. It wasn't, it wasn't that the IDE sucked. What it was was it would only let you modify the line of code that you needed to, but it doesn't it doesn't tell you that. So I was trying to like copy and paste lines of code in the IDE so that I could like modify stuff and change it and it was duplicating lines and then characters were getting replaced and going missing. It was good the IDE was, was bollocks and it was just just a complete mess. So I noped out. I was just like, you know what, no, this is this is stupid. Um so that's what it that's what it was. I could have fixed it if I could have refactored it, but the IDE was daft. I once had a brilliant interview where um, I got through to the, I think it was like the third stage on a, a game dev interview down in, um, I don't guess the area, but it was down, down. I think like, I know what you're south. talking about. Is it the, the people who did the the racing games? Uh, yes, yes. Oh no, sorry, no. Um, they didn't do racing games. Um, okay, no, some other one. But I, I have been there. But um, yeah, they, as part of the, the interview, basically, I went down there for a day and stopped over. And the, the team were really nice, but the guy who I was basically dealing with for this interview, 
He said, right, okay, here's a test, and it was basically do, do, um, do X. So I, I had to go off and, and write a bit of software, a toolkit to do something. But he said to me, right, you can use whatever's installed on the computer, um, but I don't, you I don't, you basically googling the problem, or you solve it yourself. So I'm like, well, uh, can I, can I look for any answers? He's like, no, no, no. You can look for stuff online, but just don't look for the answer. Right, okay, fine. So I'm, I go off and I'm starting to make this thing, I'm starting to write some unit tests, I'm starting to make like a, a, a framework for this application toolkit thing. But then I realise, oh, they've only got .NET 1 installed. <laughs> I'm like, shit, well I can use WinForms, but all the generic stuff in .NET isn't there. Half, there's no link, there's no no good stuff whatsoever, right? So I was like, well shit, I don't want to use MFC and see if I'm supposed to be here all day just writing a fucking BMP importer. That's a bit not funny. Um, so anyway, I just ended up just getting by with .NET 1. I wrote a load of stuff just to get it working. Um, I I would most of my way through the sheet of what they wanted it to do, so I'd met most of the acceptance criteria. Um, oh. But one thing I hadn't done was flipped over the page. <sighs> what a surprise, you dad again. I hadn't flipped over the page, and there was another step on there. But anyway, so I got to the end of the second date, and because... The .NET stuff was so shit. I was like, "Well, look, I'll show them that I can do like the the basic stuff in this in this toolkit, but I'll also do some C++ and P invoke it to show them. Hey, I know C++ because it's game dev. C++ is a is a useful skill there. So I did half in C++ and half in C sharp. And at the end, I've got to like give a presentation to everybody. So I give a presentation to them, and say, "Look, here's here's what I got working. It it does what you need there. Um, but." I, I wanted to do some in C++, so I'll give you a quick run through of that code and stuff. And one guy goes, well, I can see a solution to that, but why didn't you just go online and, and find a better solution? And I was like, well, I was told not to. And then the guy's just shaking his head, and I'm like, well, I, I was told not to go online and look for the answer. And everybody's just kind of sighing, and I'm like, well, um, am I am I not... Uh, is this a joke or something? <laughs> is like, why would that guy blatantly tell you multiple times, don't go online and look at an answer? Screw the, the like, Screw the establishment. Screw the establishment. Why don't you look for an answer? The thing is, a dev, you just go, well, I don't know it. I'm sure somebody else has solved the problem. I'll yeah, just go yeah, yeah. On the shoulders of giants. But yeah. Said <laughs> I was kind of walking away from that interview going, well, yeah, the. Uh, don't get me wrong, I made a mistake because I didn't look at the back. So I'd, I'd done one thing where they wanted me to kind of merge a load of images together. But there was one where they wanted me to basically make a shared palette between um, a load of other images. And I didn't realise that bit. But again, my code could have done that. I just would have had to make um, another wrapper which basically would have collated a load of stuff. So anyway, you wouldn't, I wasn't moving mountains. But they seemed really miffed that I hadn't gone off and like Googled how to... A blue one, that's odd. Um, they seemed really pissed that I hadn't gone off and like Googled how to solve the problem. And the thing was, I'd, even, I'd written KD trees, I'd written um, quad trees for it. Um, so I'd, I'd written like data structure and things, but because I hadn't specifically gone off and looked at the, oh, just the most optimised ways for Damn. stuff, it, um, it all went to shit. But yeah, that was a fun one. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Where's my souls? There they are. The one you mentioned Yeah, though, some of these right, companies are right really fucking weird. There's a, I, I found I've been to a lot of game dev interviews. Where's uh, my Where's my sword? And I find a lot of them are so egotistical. Like they'll be, they'll kind of be just asking you really mundane questions about like C and C plus plus and things. But then all you need to do is get one small thing wrong or just like for example in the, the one you mentioned about the people who do the racing games. Um, they showed a class and they basically like, highlight the problems here. And because I hadn't, <laughs> I'd highlighted every single problem, but because I hadn't mentioned that the constructor wasn't public by default, he just went on for ages about why it's important. I'm like, well, yeah, I know, I just just didn't highlight it, I just didn't realise, but again, the compiler will, will tell me this, so I, it's not really a massive problem, is it? And at the end, I was like, oh, is there any, any feedback? He's like, yeah, just be better at object-oriented programming, and I'm like, yeah, thanks for that. I can understand if I was completely awful at it, but I'm actually pretty good at that stuff. I yeah, I don't know me. That sounds shit. It's not for me. I'm in some ways I'm quite glad that I didn't get into game dev as a career because I know people who are in the industry. And, well, so do you, don't you? Just the strong point. Let's do that. Especially thought. these days. Nice.
That's it. I look round. Oh, I fill with three other stories there. if you want. I've got stories about badges. Three AM. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can discuss that for a while. I think even. this is this will be the last attempt, right? Yep, I'm done. I'm right. done. Um, I, I can't do this anymore. Farm... No, no, just calm down. <sighs> this you farm a couple of levels after yeah. and then give it another go. Well, yep. one thing I would possibly suggest here is you've you've got a few areas that you haven't been to. You haven't fully explored all the areas you've been through. Yeah. Yeah, maybe well, she. You'd it's... hear the dismay in his voice. Yeah, it's done. Oh, I'm defeated. Shit. Oh, Fucking hell. Do if you're giving yeah, up over yeah. this, uh, over two episodes, how are you going to do Sekiro? I'll be, that'll be dead not... easy. He's not going to do that. Yeah, Fuck it out. Fucking it'll, be, it'll be easy, it'll be fine. <laughs> oh, wow. Fucking <laughs> retarded. Right, until now, I've not struggled that much. That's because it's been easy and you've had people summon. This is Dark Souls. Welcome mm. to the fucking game. <laughs> yeah. Do I need to save it and exit? I do, don't I? Let's you check. Just, just quit. It saves itself. Yeah. Oh, fat face. Fat. <laughs> that fucking face there. That sums it up. <laughs> yeah. If there's it's... any post processing you do, zoom in on the fucking face. Yep. Everybody will want to see that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it is. It's been emotional. It's been emotional. I don't, I don't want to play it next week for more stories. Yeah, I can I'll, I can tell my badger one next week if you want. I'll try and get to thirty, level thirty, or maybe next stream we just explore this area up front rather than go back to that boss. I don't know. Well, there's other but, areas yeah. before here. Is it? But yeah, well, the the other area you came. So I've got from, here. The, um, I haven't been there yet. Whatever that is. Anyway. You've got the whole area where the Union Knight is. You can do that. Oh, you've true. Got, yeah. The area before the Union Knight bit, where you can drop down and go around. Um, there's still bits you haven't explored in the area with the tree balls guy. Tree balls. Um, yeah, there's yeah. there's still quite a lot you haven't done. Yeah, too hard. So you might want to go do that. It's too hard. It's not too hard. You just too it's, it's, hard. It's hard. This game. This game's just just bad for you. So not. All right. So, yeah. Mate, well, into two vets if, here you can, like if you can <laughs> finish this game, you can accomplish anything. <laughs> the yeah. world is your oyster. You will be it really is. This that. game taught me patience and just and pain, perseverance, patience no, and I pain. I fucking love. I love Demon Souls. That that fucking honestly changed my outlook on a lot of things. Yeah, hey, I did Demon Souls. I finished that. How the fuck did you finish Demon Souls? <laughs> Hey, we all play at the same time, me, you, and me. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. But yeah. Good times, man. Good times. Good to back in the day. Back in the day. All right. Well, yeah, we're going to call it here. Good night, everybody, and thanks for watching me fail. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.